This is an Action Potential Learning SAT mini lesson teaching you how to solve actual SAT problems to help prepare you for your upcoming test. Today we'll be working on a problem from edition 2012, page 424, question number 14 from the College Board Official SAT Study Guide. This is a simple combination problem that asks you how many different designs are possible using just two different colors. You know that you have five different colors available for the design. So to solve a combination problem, a lot of times it helps if you can actually visualize what's going on. That's one of the reasons that they've given you this diagram here, although you really don't need it to solve the problem at all. So I'm going to extend that just a little bit, and we're actually going to look at five colors to visualize how the different combinations actually work. So here are the five colors, and these are the five colors that we have to choose from, like the question is stating. What we want to do is determine how many different designs are possible using just two of those colors. Now the key here is we can choose any two colors that we want, so we're going to have several different combinations, which is why this is a combination problem. The way I'm going to solve this problem is to create buckets for the two different colors I can actually use in my design, right? So this is my design with color one and color two. So I have two different colors I get to choose from. Bucket one, bucket two represents my two different colors. Now since there are five colors to choose from, in my first bucket, or my first color choice here, I have an option of one, two, three, four, or five different colors. So any of the five colors I want can be this first color here. So color one, I have five different color options. Let's say that I chose blue as my first color. That means that for my second color, which corresponds here to the second bucket, I only have one, two, three, four colors to choose from now. So in my first color, I had five colors to choose from. I used one up. So for my second color, I only had four colors to choose from. To find out the total number of combinations, or the total different designs that I can actually use with these colors, I would just multiply these two numbers together. So there are 20 different painted designs that I could do here, or 20 different combination of colors that I can choose to create a design. So the takeaways for this problem is so that you don't confuse yourself, always draw your buckets here. In this case, it represents how many different colors you're going to be working with. So two colors in this design. And then you fill into those buckets the actual number of colors that you have to choose from. Multiplying them together gives you the total combination of colors. This is an Action Potential Learning SAT mini lesson. Thanks so much for watching.